Ooh. Oh, hello, and uh, welcome to another mailbag. This one, I'm afraid, is going to be a bit of a monster because um, I've got loads of stuff and I haven't got um, Miss Hubnut here to help me. I've got three, two sacks and a big pile of stuff, uh, which has um, all arrived over the past few weeks because I've been doing the move, haven't been able to keep up with doing the videos. Um, but because the sheer quantity of stuff I'm, I'm arriving, the fact I'm struggling to fit space in here uh, at the moment anyway, I'm actually um, drawing a line on the mailbox, so I'm probably not going to do any further ones for a bit until I can get organised. And uh, given I generally can't get organised, that may be a very open amount of time. Uh, before we get started, Ross Kelly sent me um, these um, items uh, some time ago from Ireland. Uh, and uh, I can't even remember what this one is, but naturally I'm very grateful. I, I'm building up quite the array of uh, power tools. Uh, oh yeah, it's um, an impact driver, cordless one. And uh, should make life a bit easier. Getting wheel nuts off perhaps if they're not too tight. I doubt it's the most powerful. It's only a 12 volt, um, but uh, nonetheless, useful bit of kit to have, thank you. It isn't so much getting the um, hard stuff off. I've got breaker bars and scaffold tubes and things, but it's, when you're doing fasteners all the time, uh, having a bit of a whizzy whizzy just helps just to run the nuts up and down. And uh, a drill is always a useful thing. I actually have quite a few of those um, of various types and of various um, battery um, life left sort of things. But yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to dig straight in. So this one, uh, so this is some stuff that has been a bit longer in the coming and uh, that feels very much like a Haynes manual to me. Uh, is it something I own? Is it something someone's suggesting I should own? Uh, Haynes manuals seem to arrive in a mixture of fashions. Yeah, it's very tightly packaged in there. And it is, oh, a letter. Uh, it's another Voxel Vectra one. Well, I think I'm up to three manuals now, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have more use for this than me. The 1.6 Envoy I had was scrapped in 2010. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, kind regards, uh, Michael Cotterell. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, still have tons of Haynes and car stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no the feeling. Uh, Haynes manuals do seem to breed, so thank you very much. It's another Voxel one. There it is, hiding behind the letter for your amusement. All right, next lucky bit. Ooh, the big old package. Really does end up feeling like Christmas every day, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I actually get to uh, Christmas. Oh, I wasn't quite trying to rip it to that degree, but nonetheless, we're in. Ooh, bit of arse work. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. Uh, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, especially for me, because I can't paint at all. That's, uh, yeah, incredible. Uh, I've been after a bit of art for the um, unit. Here's a reminder, we do need to do some Hubnut t-shirts like that. I don't think we actually sell any at the moment, but uh, yeah, wow. That really does make it feel like home. Have we got a letter in here? Oh yes, a little postcard. Uh, I got my father out of retirement to do this for you. Oh wow, from Tom. Well, thank you Tom, and thank you to your father as well. Um, that is a mightily impressive thing. Uh, yeah, I, I look forward to putting that on the wall. Uh, brilliant. This section never fails to amaze me. It's um, just extraordinary what people will do and send all because I make silly videos on the internet. This feels like a t-shirt. And, uh, ah, returns to a pea weasel. Would that be a pog weasel? Uh, a, a now defunct name on a certain beige forum. What, what has Mr. Pog had done? Mr. Pog was a customer of mine when um, I used to uh, run my own transport business. Oh, look at that. It's a nice 2CV shirt, an, an early 2CV, we got the custode rear window and um, with um, some sort of suspension failure going on 
Uh, perhaps Mr. Pog thinks he's cooling down with the kids. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Pog. You know who you are. Uh, add that to the collection. And oh, there is a letter. Very much enjoying the ongoing Hubnut shenanigans. Keep up the good work, Squire. As deeply lovely as the merch is, the committed car enthusiast can never have too many black t-shirts, so please find enclosed something Ellie-esque. Wishing you good times, all of them, and hope we can catch up soon, Pog. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Pog. Uh, that's uh, splendid. And uh, yeah, you can never have too many black t-shirts. At some point in the future, uh, it may be possible that we can do shirts in another colour. So um, we shall see. But, you know, let's not get carried away. Black, black slimming, that's why I'm wearing it, because uh, I'm starting to feel a bit too comfortable in life and uh, I'm subsequently getting quite large. I'm thinking I really need some music playing at this juncture, but unfortunately I'm a rubbish musician. It's a 1990 road test yearbook. What the 100 newest cars are really like. Uh, two Hubnut from David Hines and... Uh, you go on page 66. Oh, wow. So here's what we got on the front cover. Mercedes-Benz SL, uh, the R129 um, category, Land Rover Discovery, the Mazda MX-5, the Mark III Fiesta, the Rover R8. Um, yeah, 1989 into 1990 was a very significant time. And, uh, oh, I see. It's got all the tests. Oh, wow. Uh, well, let's skip straight to 66. And there she is. Uh, it's not my Yugo Sana, but there is a road test after Yugo Sana, next to a big old Volvo, uh, 740 GLT estate. Uh, verdict dated load carrier. Um, Yugo Sana, verdict, poor substitute for a European hatch. How very hubnut. And yeah, it's, it's odd how the Skoda Favorit just seemed to find more favor. Let's see if they did. Yeah, they've got the Skoda Favorit in here. And, th and that comes up as a bold and promising step forward. And uh, I wonder how much of that really comes down to uh, styling. Uh, I think the styling of the Favorite is um, very, very delicious. Oh, Sayeth the Beefer, SXI. Another Jujaro special there on the old um, Sayeth the Beefer. Wonderful styling, uh, very talented man. So thank you very much. Um, uh, who, who sent me that one? No, that's a letter from Pog. That was, oh yes, David Hines. Uh, try and keep the things together. That's uh, very kind of you, thank you. I enjoy reading that. This is gonna take quite a long time, I feel. So let's um, try and speed things up a bit. Uh, now this has come from Australia. Uh, okay. Oh, the letter is written, oh, I see, on the envelope. Oops, I, I so we rip it down the side. Oh, there we go. It folds out into a letter. That's. Quite smart, saves a bit of weight, I suppose. Uh, this is from Keith D. Judd in um, New South Wales. Bit chilly over there in New South Wales at the moment, I understand. Uh, I have really enjoyed your videos on YouTube. Uh, after viewing the first episode about Ellie the 2CV, ah, there is a product in our area which may be of interest to you. It's called the Coop Tech. Couple Tech. Okay. Right, that was quite a lot of letter there. I shall um, enjoy reading that later. Thanks, Keith. Uh, who's, oh, this is from Martin Neumann. Uh, I think it was in, I found this postcard in Paris. Lovely. Oh, Traction Avant, rusting in a field somewhere. I think that's a post-war one. Got the wipers at the base of the windscreen. Interesting. Ah, purely pet supplies. I wonder if this is from um, Ian Jackson. He does like to feed the animals. And what have we got this time? Oh. Dreamies for George. George the cat. Right, well, I'll have to go and visit George the cat then. And take him some dreamies. All right, another letter. And what are these? It's um, an empty bag with choke on it. Uh, I made these, ah, oh, sorry, no, the choke isn't on it. The choke is inside. It's stickers for uh, uh, Tux heater controls. Oh, wow, thank you. Uh, my wife has a new version of the Dymo label machine. Excellent, thank you. Uh, I might well put those in place uh, because um, 
yeah, as you may have seen in a previous video, I'm going to put the letter in there to keep it with it. Uh, I, I managed to lose, uh, or I managed to put the choke on by mistake when it was actually a heater setting. So yeah, thank you very much for those. Very, very kind of you. I need to catch up and actually fit some of these items that people are sending me. It's another reason to stop because I'm just doing too much unpacking and not enough fitting. Uh, another chunky plastic bag. Which is good because these bags can be recycled, I believe. Oh, what we got in here? Oh, so we get a mystery package. We'll get to that in a moment. The Toyota 1978 car range. Wow. That's a very interesting brochure. Oh, quality. I imagine um, readers in Ireland especially are getting quite excited at the moment. That's a fantastic document. And uh, I now need to keep um, a close eye on that and keep that safe. That's lovely. And the complete history of the Japanese car from 1907 to the present. And uh, I'm guessing the time of present is um, displayed by these concept cars I've never seen before on the front. Uh, I would guess that's 1980s. Uh, let's see. Yes, 1988. Well, published by Haynes. And oh my gosh. Oh yes, it's got the very earliest days. Uh, some interesting cars, little Mazda here. Uh, yeah, that, that's going to be a very interesting read. I'm going to be sorted this winter. I won't do any work on cars. I'll just read stuff people have sent me. And uh, what do we think is in here? I really should get some scissors. That would make life a lot easier doing mailbox. I've been too reliant on Miss Hubnut and her unpackaging skills. Oh, oh, oh. More top trumps. Also from the 1980s, by the look of it, maybe late 70s. And Mercedes Benz um, W, oh, what, 116, are they? Those S Class. Uh, oh my gosh, I think I might have had this one. World record holders. Oh, there we go. The um, Jaguar XJ6 there. Um, did quite well for um, power, 172 horsepower, about £6,000. It doesn't want to be too exact about how much the car is worth. Uh, well, I've got loads of top trumps. Definitely going to have to have a gaming weekend. So I think that's all that was in there. Um, was there a name on that? I don't think there was a name. No, no, no clues. Well, thank you very much, whoever that was. Uh, that was uh, very generous. Oh, something that appears to have come from eBay. Ugh, and spider. Goodbye, little spider. What do we got? Ah, owner's workshop manual on the Citroen GS and GSA. Uh, that could be useful. Maybe I can try and find out where the fuel leak's coming from, uh, as you may have seen in a previous video. Uh, that's how to take the gearbox apart. Don't think we're going to be doing that. Thank you very much. Very useful. I need to put some bookshelves up. Uh, I'll get, uh, get starting to acquire quite the library here. Pro Scan Automotive. Is this yet another code reader? I've now been sent two of them, I think. Uh, maybe this is a third. And uh, even though I've been sent two, I haven't plugged either of them into the Vectory yet. ProScan Automotive. Uh, oh, Dream is on the floor. Oh. Curious. Curious and curious. I think, it, is it opened in transit? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Huh. We recommend you use this app, Car Scanner. Link your phone to your car. Uh, monitor your car's co performance, compatible with all OBD2 protocols. Oh, well, there we go. I think that should be in there, really. And then in there. There we go. That's a quite handy little thing. Okay, thank you. Uh, add that to the collection. No clues on that one either. Uh, that, that's got a little code on the Car Scanner website to acquire software and apps no doubt it's a new world to me i'm used to spanners and hammers sadly i'm yet to find a computer that will talk to my day it is that still hasn't happened what have we got here 
It's an endoscope we can hook up to your PC. I actually already have one of these, but they're uh, remarkably useful things. And uh, as a better look at what it's like on the back. Uh, I used one on Tuck the Invercar to look inside her fuel tank. Um, I've no idea where that one is, so, so thank you. That could be very useful. Uh, it's amazing how often you need to look in somewhere you can't really get into on cars. Uh, yeah, running up to 19 minutes so far in this unedited form, and uh, we're still on the first bag. Uh, no clues as to who's sending this stuff, so um, thank you, mystery people. Definitely need more knives. That's not a request. I'm sure I have some somewhere. Gentleman's personal trimmer. What are you saying, eh? Uh, trims nose hair and ear hair. Thank you. It's what I've always wanted. I have adapters on my normal shaving kit. I just can't be bothered to use them. So thank you for that. It's a letter. And it's, ooh. Excellent content as usual. What you don't know about cars isn't worth knowing. Oh, come on now. I don't know everything. I know very little about a lot of cars. Uh, I don't know a lot about um, many cars in detail. Uh, enjoying your videos for some time. Think you deserve more recognition. Oh, thank you very much. Lots of forgotten cars from my childhood, blah, blah, blah. And my dad gave me the, these years and thought you might like them. Well, look at these. These are postcards. From Talbot. Talbot Solara, the power to light up your life. That's over-egging it a bit, if I'm honest, much as I like them. Talbot to Gora. Ha, oh, that's all of the good times. And what have we got here? Presenting the new 1980 Talbot Alpine. A beautiful example of our drive for perfection. Again, probably overstating it a bit, much as I like Talbot Alpines. I would love to do a video on. I'd actually like to own one. I think I would really get on with one of those cars. But uh, as ever, so many cars, so little time. And also have a habit of acquiring entirely the wrong cars. But that's just me. It can't be helped. So thank you very much for that. That's a lovely um, collection of stuff. Oh, who was that from again? Uh, Charlie? Might be. Oh, yes, Charlie. Charlie Coulson. Thank you very much. Uh, this has come from the USA. Do not bend. From Doug's Cars. Ah, Doug, Doug has his own channel. Um, unsurprisingly, uh, he talks about cars quite a lot. And his name's Doug. So uh, it, it sometimes pays to have a nice, simple channel name. Uh, I certainly think so. But then I would do, wouldn't I? I've got Ubnut. Uh, there we go. Uh, we've got um, a sticker for Doug's Cars. But... He, he knows I, I like one of his cars in particular. Uh, so let's just get this out of the packet. We've got, yeah, the Doug's Cars sticker. Oh, is it going to focus on that? Probably not. The camera's miles away. I'm enjoying wireless life, I'm afraid. Because you like the Roadmaster so much and, ha and um, have some stickers. Oh, well, yeah. Because you like the Roadmaster so much and have some stickers. Yeah, I've just managed to stick the bag to the brochure. But it's a brochure for the Buick Roadmaster. Uh, fake wood, ahoy. Uh, I think it's kind of based on the Chevrolet Caprice, I think. This era of Roadmaster. Oh, this is a fold-out thing. But look at the seats. Look at the seats. They're enormous. Uh, let's see if we can find a nice shot of the entire car. Oh, yes. Look. At that, feast your eyes upon the magnificence that is the Buick Roadmaster. Uh, I would love one of these. A uh, five litre V8 engine with electronic fuel injection and 170 brake horsepower. Uh, oh, two speed windshield wipers with low speed delay. Uh, intermittent wipers in other words. But yeah, I, th I think they're fascinating. Uh, I would dearly like to sniff around one of those. I don't know if anyone's got one in the UK or if I've got to go all the way to America. But yeah, thank you for that. I'm liking that a lot. It's another code reader. An OBD2 scanner. Uh, works on most 1996 and newer vehicles. I'm going to have to try all these and see which one I like most. But um, yeah, thank you. Um, no explanation on that one. But thank you very much. This is another reason for ending the mailbox. Or mailbag or whatever I want to call it. 
feature. It's, it's for, I do end up with a lot of duplication, but uh, uh, in time I will do my utmost to find good homes for the um, stuff there is too much of. Uh, yeah, okay, this is something rude about sheep uh, in a t-shirt form. Uh, thank you, whoever that was. Extra large? That's just adding insult to injury. I'm not going to show you that because that's rude. Uh, at least I've got a booby prize. Right, next sack. I think this is mostly big items rather than loads of little ones, so perhaps we can speed through them. Uh, wheat biscuits. And um, in between the wheat biscuits, the Volvo Standards magazine. Issue number six from 1984. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll just find a nice spread to show you. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, sign of the time. A woman's eye view of life with a Volvo 340. Oh, there she is trying to put her pram in the back. Back in the days when prams. Oh, we've got a little envelope with some extra stuff in it. Ooh. We have a model 740. That must be quite a rarity. And uh, a little 2CV to add to my collection of 2CV models, which is quite vast. But they will definitely be staying here. Um, so thank you very much. No explanation, I don't think. No, just got the Volvo standards. Uh, um, let's just have a feel. And uh, an empty Jiffy bag to go into my Jiffy bag collection, which is growing ever larger. That's a big old package. Oh, this is someone with ambitions. Oh, wow. It's a little vacuum cleaner for cars. Uh, that, that's certainly going to be quite useful. Um, oh, it's, it's all wrapped up. Um, I won't get it out, but it does have a tube. Wow. Yeah, I, I must concede I'm rubbish at cleaning cars, but now I have children, I need to get much better at it because they're mucky little um, people. Oh, wrapped in brown paper, that is um, entirely proper. I fully approve of that, even though I'm gonna, now gonna have to battle with this sellotape. Well, I was trying to keep all this brown paper intact, so I've utterly failed in that. Oh, hello. Elizabeth Grant, get it into your skin. I've not seen anyone send you any gloves via snail mail, so I thought I would send you some to use for upcoming tinkering videos. I was going to send you some dog treats, but my dog ate them. So I was literally still using the dog ate my homework. Uh, Darren and Sharon Ashworth. And Darren reckons he's the number one fan. Uh, I suspect there will be a fight for that honour. Um, but um, keep it clean, fellas. There we go. Ah. Nice mechanics gloves as well. So not... Not, not as disposable as disposable ones. I've been thinking about getting some more permanent ones. I feel bad about using the disposable ones because you like use them once and destroy. But uh, yeah, these, ooh, these, yeah, nice grippy um, soles going on. Uh, fabric on the back, so they're not going to keep the oil out um, entirely. But still, uh, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, very grippy. I'm liking the look at those. Thank you very much, Mr. Number One Fan. Uh, another brochure is this? I was already going to try and cut down the number of brochures I have because uh, looking after brochures is really, really difficult. Um, and I, I am one of those people who will buy a brochure for my car. Dearest Hubnut, my daughter is currently trying her hand at creating auto art to see if she could turn it into a little earner to supplement her pocket money. Uh, no mention of how old her do his daughter is. She thought you'd appreciate this picture of Ellie, especially as it's your anniversary. From Aid and Lucy Saint. Um, so, what has she managed to do? She's done this. That's rather splendid. Uh, certainly does look like Ellie the Tooth of you, who is right here, by the way. So, I hope you like that, Ellie. Uh, that's very nice. Yeah, I like the detail, even got the Ellie on the vent flap and side stripes she hasn't actually got yet. Um, I really must get around to putting those on her. It's been three years now. 
Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Might have to find a spot on the wall for that. I'm going to need an art wall, just like Tony Hart. Incidentally, everyone who um, told us that no, it wasn't Heartbeat, it was Take Heart. Take Heart was an earlier show, so you're showing your age. When me and uh, Miss Hubnut were growing up, it was Heartbeat, H-A-R-T. Uh, so there you go. And uh, I think he also did Vision On as well. Good, good old fella was Tony Hart. And Morph, of course. And uh, viewers from other countries now be going, what? Oh, Casio, I think I've got this. Yes. It's a Casio F91W, my watch of choice. Um, but I haven't, I, I broke a strap on one and then couldn't get a new strap. Remember quite a few videos ago, you broke your cherished Casio watch and I spotted this in a retro shop. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, delicious. If not suitable, put it in the Hubnut car boot sale. Barry Davis. Well, thank you, Barry. That's very good of you. Uh, Lester can go there. Uh, very tempted to put the watch on, but I'll only scratch it. And uh, But, you know, what, what point is a watch if you don't wear it? Maybe I'll put it on later. I do miss having a watch. This is an auto sticker. Incidentally, I, I do plan to do some more live Q&A sessions at some point, but it, it's been a bit difficult. The reception's a bit patchy here. My mobile phone isn't keen on doing it. Uh, right, what we got? Uh, if you think this is slow, wait till we go uphill. That's the sticker for... So many of my cars uh, that could go on. Um, Ellie still isn't quickest, but Tuk is by far the slowest, so that sticker may well come in useful. Uh, where does this come from? China. Guangdong. If my van's rocking, don't bother knocking. Is, is that one for Foxan then? Uh, I think it's come from France. It's got um, Anniversaire. Uh, wow. Look at, look at that. It's insane. Insanity. Uh, indeed. All uh, right, I'm going to resort to a key at this point. If you haven't got anything sharp, a key might well do the trick. I've got this random Rover key for a car I sold years ago, and I don't even know which one. It's an aftermarket one by JMA. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, no, packing peanuts. Worst nightmare. What have we got in here? Uh, put those there. Oh, try not to lose the packing peanuts. Oh, it's a model. It's a model. It's in tissue paper. I'm going to have to destroy the tissue paper. I can't see what the model is. Oh-ho! Ooh! A Simca Sank Fogione. The, uh, that Simca um, used to build Fiat's under license. That's a Fiat Topolino van. That's gorgeous. I'm not taking that out of the box. Ooh! That's got to be a hub nut, um, sports car hasn't it really and uh, the alfa romeo 155 of alessandro nanini uh i almost want to hear that uh, is that a mini champs model uh it doesn't seem to say anywhere it's missing the box but uh yeah very very detailed it'll never there we go there's the focus what a beauty i don't seem to have a letter in here as far as i can see but uh Lots of lovely little models. This is looking like a 2CV van, possibly an Acadian, a Diane version. It is indeed an Acadian. So uh, even if I can't start a car museum, and I would very much like to, I would like to get some focus as well. There we go. Uh, I can have a model car museum. Oh, wow. I'm not sure I've ever seen one of those out in the wild. Renault 4 pickup, uh, or ute to a... Australian folk. Look at that. Uh, interesting, my camera thinks the wheels are a face. That's uh, absolutely delicious. I'm loving that. Oh, Peugeot 202. Now I've driven a 202, a pickup many years ago, and I worked on Classic Car Weekly. Uh, very much inspired by the Chrysler Airflow. Uh, fascinating vehicles. Uh, fairly conventional under the skin, but they look very dramatic indeed. Well, thank you very much. Um, let's have a sift through. I don't think there is a letter accompanying this, but it's obviously come from France. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. There are some delicious models. Oh dear, that's another 10 minutes gone. Uh, I'm not going quick enough on these. Uh, is this really a pillar candle set? Ugh. Ah! Crackers. 
someone has sent me crackers. There's more. There is anti-fog. It eliminates fogging and steaming of interior glass and mirrors. Well, um, we're, we're heading fast into autumn, so that stuff could well be useful. What else have we got? A letter we'll get to in a moment. Uh, Rain-X, which is good because I've lost mine. Uh, I like Rain-X. I don't like it so much on windscreens, but um, I may have to relent on the um, Vectra because the blades seem to be struggling. Maybe I just need to give the windscreen a deep clean for these new blades. Uh, hello Ian, after watching the adventure with Took in the Storms, I thought these might come in handy. Keep up the good work and celebrating the average. Well, I'll tell you why. If you're driving along in an Invercar with no side window, it won't steam up. So there's a top tip from Hubnut. But yeah, thank you very much. Put that back in there and the anti-fog and the crackers are better go on the take home list. Uh, thank you very much. Did that say who it was from? Did I say who it was from? Uh, I'm not always very good at reading letters. I get distracted. Uh, David Parry and some Took. Oh, I see. Took crackers. Got it. Uh, so if you're getting bored and you're thinking maybe something exciting will happen, it probably won't. Uh, oh, LED bulbs? No, they're flashing valve caps. Uh, is that something that used to be a thing? They flash when they move? I can't remember. Well, it'll flash when you drive at night. I might have to try that just for the joy of it. So, thank you, whoever sent those. There's some company going some, somewhere going, I can't believe people buy this sort of stuff. Oh, what is this? Courtesy door light. This product is designed for the auto modification fancier. We purpose to bring more driving fun to drivers. Okay. With your interior lights. Okay, I'm oh no batteries. Triple A batteries. Needed by the look of it. And uh, I'm not sure where you're meant to put them. But that's a rather intriguing item uh, so it's kind of suggesting oh you, you stick them to the underside of your door and then when the door opens it'll shine a light and you can see where you're going uh, but um to be honest I'm, I'm just intrigued as they are so i think i'll be keeping them just like that so thank you more random oddness um courtesy door inside model yeah i think that is meant to fit to the inside of your door and you open the door and then it lights up um where you're stopping, it's difficult to see because there's pictures all over it. Oh, here we go. Yep, there you go. You stick it to your door card and then it'll shine a light. Uh, oh, and you can shine different things like VIP or hearts. Might have to experiment with that, that sounds fun. Won't work on the Invercado, I'm afraid. Uh, another item that has come from China, Shanghai, where I have been. Almost a year ago, isn't that frightening? It's another extra large. I'm trying not to take this personally. It's a Wish t-shirt. Okay, why have we been sent that? I mean, for, for Wish, it seems, um, yeah, uh, quite understated. Wish advertises the most bizarre stuff. Uh, to Ian Hubnut Seabrook, send a Phil Ball. Right, okay, uh, before I show you this item, I'm gonna read the letter. Clearing my shed and found this poncho. Never been out the packet, never worn. Thought it might come in handy because Hubnut. Uh, that's, are you sure you want to delete on YouTube? And uh, it is, um, I'm gonna try and remove the letter. It is um, a poncho. So there you go, I could be that stylish in red. Never been out the packet. Ho oh, ho, it's coming out the packet. It's coming out the packet. I can't put it on because I'll rustle my microphone. And it uh, has faded somewhat, I would say. Um, it was red, it is now pink. And uh, well, yeah, that, that is disintegrating quite mightily. I think I'm gonna put that back in the packet. Thank you, Phil. Uh, this is another worrying thing about mailbag. It is turning into, I'm clearing my garage and I thought I'd send this to you. And uh, I've got enough of my own junk. I don't really need other people's, but uh, I might give that away as a mystery prize at some point. 
And we're going to have so much fun at uh, future hub nut meets. Uh, it's going to be hilarious. More postcards. Would that be more Martin? Oh yes, of course. This is the title card to the 2CV Quare card I sent you a few days ago. I think that's an ancient Austrian number plate. Perhaps it is. And another tiny little letter here. Oh, oh, oh. Got to open it carefully. There's stuff included. Recently discovered the channel and love the content. Normal cars. Keep up the work. Would you do a review of the Hyundai Accent? I'd never um, uh, say no. This is from Sam. Apologies for the bad handwriting. It's better from mine. Uh, he's made me some stickers that say, I am the warranty. Uh, I'm not sure what that says about my cars, but thank you for those, Sam. I better put those carefully back into that um, envelope. Uh, yeah, Hyundai Accent. I've not driven many Hyundais, apart from Stellas. So I seem to have driven a, an insane number of Stellas. Uh, I think that's the last of the items. It is. Apart from the other sack. Uh, so I might have to come back and do that one another time because this is just running on and on. What have we got here? Some more light up valve caps by the look of it. I wonder if they work on bicycles. The kids might enjoy those. Quite weird. Again, how um, something can become a theme and it's uh, light up valve caps this week apparently. And you remember light up washer jets as well? They were always popular. It's a cigarette lighter. Just one. Well, that's really useful actually, because you know, when I used to smoke, I had fire on hand all the time. And I like the color as well, it's purple. Um, better check it actually works. Uh, if we can find our way in. Because it's a bit rattly. This feels like a joke one. I mean, it clearly isn't gonna work. I don't think. Is that meant to come out? I don't really get what the point of that is. That's a cigarette lighter look-alike. Moving swiftly on. It is a reminder I should get myself a cigarette lighter though, because, um, yeah, the ability to make fire, often so useful. I have a self-igniting blowtorch though, so that's pretty good. That's uh, so another letter. Oh gosh, I don't think I'll be reading all of this one out. I've been watching your videos for a couple of years, finding them most entertaining. Yeah, I, I, I will read that later, because uh, that's two sides. That's a lot of words. But thank you, Mr. A.R. Whitehouse. Well, thank you very much. Sorry that's taken so long to get to me. It was sent last month. And the last package of this section, I will save the other sack for another time. Uh, so this isn't going to be the last mailbag at all. Thanks for the videos. Keep it up. Keith Aspin. It was sent me some coasters. He's had made by the look of it. And then there is Ellie on a coaster. That's good. I haven't got any coasters here. Co coasters are something we're looking to have done. The other ones of a Rover SD1 because who wouldn't want an SD1 on a coaster? Um, but yeah, that, it's quite weird seeing my car because there she is. Uh, thank you very much. And that concludes mailbag this time around. There will be one more, one more mailbag video to come in the future. Um, but I've now got a lot of tidying up to do, so um, I'm going to do that. Thank you very much for um, everyone who has sent stuff. It has been a fun experiment, I think, this, even um, if it isn't turning into a long-term strategy because I just get sent so much stuff and I then can't find anywhere to actually put it all because I'm struggling to put my own stuff in places. But yeah, thank you very much and uh, look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell.